welcome back to my channel. Tonight for you, I have a wonderful new movie night to Disney's Jungle Cruise. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make all of the recipes to recreate it with your family coming up right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Bethany and I'm the creator of Mommy's Movie Magic which is movie theme night parties that you can have with your family or make it bigger into a bigger party if you want to and recreate that movie and bring it to life in your own home. So tonight I am doing Disney's Jungle Cruise, but before I get into that, I just wanna remind you guys to head down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my movie nights that I come out with. They always come out on Fridays and I have come out with quite a few already. So make sure you head down below and check out a bunch of those other videos if Jungle Cruise doesn't seem quite right right now to make with your family. There's a bunch more ideas, so go check them out. Also, make sure you hit that like button on this video because it really does help me out and let me know that you guys are enjoying my videos and you want me to keep recreating them for you in the future. So let me not wait anymore. Let's get into our movie night menu for this week's Disney's Jungle Cruise. For this week's menu, I have a fun Jungle Cruise themed menu for you. We're starting out with Brazilian steaks. We are also then doing a snake boa constrictor sandwich ring. Well, more like a snake instead of a ring. We're also doing honey popcorn, and we're also doing a Proxima milk bread, which is really cool when you slice it open, it looks just like spots all over Proxima. And for our drink for tonight, I have an amazing pink tropical drink that looks just like the Tears of the Moon flower from the movie. So let's not get you waiting anymore. I'm gonna show you how to make all of those recipes coming up right now. For our Brazilian steaks, you want to dice up six cloves of garlic and put it in a pan along with four tablespoons of butter and let it melt up and cook for about a minute until the aroma of the garlic becomes quite fragrant. In a separate pan, you're going to heat it on medium high and coat it with some canola or vegetable oil and put down your steaks. You're going to cook them according to different directions depending on what you want. These I cooked for about medium rare and I cooked them about eight minutes on each side. So eight minutes one side and then flipped them over to the other side for another eight minutes. And then you wanna plate it and go ahead and put your, your garlic butter, spoon it over top of your steak, top it off with some fresh parsley and you're ready to go with your Brazilian steak. Snake sandwiches are really easy, so we're gonna just do a few things to create our snake sandwich look. So you're gonna take a loaf of French bread or any type of long bread for that matter, and you're gonna slice it up into about one and a half to one inch thick pieces. And then slice them in half and get ready to start stuffing for your sandwiches. For mine, I literally just used turkey and mayonnaise because these were mostly for my kids, and this is all they like to eat on their sandwiches. So I put my meat on it and you can add whatever cheese and deli meat and toppings that you want on yours. Mine were super simple because my girls are super simple. So we'll go ahead and close them up and you're gonna take your pieces and start swerving them on the plate. And you want them as close together as you can get them to create more of that snake look. And then you're gonna take two olives, put them in with toothpicks in the front, cut a piece of red pepper and slice it into a tongue and put it on the front of your snake for your snake sandwiches. For your Proxima bread, warm up a cup of milk in the microwave for about a minute to a minute and a half, and then add in your two tablespoons of cornstarch and mix until it's mixed well. In your stand mixer, go ahead and add in your warm milk cornstarch mix and add in two tablespoons of sugar with your two teaspoons of active dry yeast and let it foam for about 10 minutes after you've mixed it well. Once it's mixed, add in the rest of your two thirds cup of sugar, your grated orange zest, your one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and four tablespoons of butter and fit it with your dough hook and you wanna start mixing it until all of this mixture is mixed together nicely. Once that has mixed together, take your three cups of bread flour and slowly spoon in one spoonful at a time as it's mixing. So it just slowly adds it together 
in your stand mixer. Once the dough has formed, let it sit for 10 minutes before turning it back onto a medium high and mixing it again for another 10 minutes. When the dough is ready, take it out onto a floured surface where you're going to slice it in half. And take one half of your dough and you're gonna slice that in half again, making two more pieces. Now in small separate bowls, mix together two tablespoons of chocolate with one tablespoon of milk, along with another bowl of two teaspoons of chocolate with one teaspoon of milk. What this does is create a chocolate paste, one dark and one light. And you're gonna start mixing and rolling and kneading that chocolate paste and into your two pieces until they become a dark and a light chocolate dough. And you wanna take all three pieces of your dough, place them in the refrigerator for an hour before taking them back out and slicing them. You wanna slice them into seven equal pieces, like so. Once all the pieces are out, you're going to roll them all into hot dog shapes. The first one is the dark chocolate piece, and you're gonna roll it out into this oval shape. The second lighter piece, it looks like a hot dog, and you're going to put milk on the edges of your dark piece before rolling it up to looking like it's some type of hot dog or even cigar looking shape. It doesn't have to be pretty, but just make sure that it's equal all the way across so that it's covered the full length of the chocolate pieces. And then take your piece of dough and you're gonna roll it out into the same type of oval shape as well. Brush the edges with milk again, like you did with the dark chocolate piece. And roll it up one more time to make it look like one more hot dog From here, take each of your pieces and you're gonna roll it out into a big long snake. And then you wanna cut it in half, creating now 14 equal sized pieces. From there, take all of your pieces and you're just gonna line them up in your bunt pan that you've already covered in parchment paper. And you're just gonna top them on top of each other until they're ready. And you wanna cover it and let rise for another hour before baking at 375 for about 45 minutes. When you slice it and open it up, you're gonna have all these wonderful little spots in it that make it look just like Proxima. Honey butter popcorn was one of the easiest recipes of the day. I started with four tablespoons of butter that I melted in a pan on top of the stove. From here, I added about a quarter cup of honey into my pan. Add in about a tablespoon of water and some salt. A quarter teaspoon will do. And mix it all up and let it boil for about, I don't know, 60 seconds or so. And go ahead and pop your non-salted, non-buttered popcorn and place it in a large bowl. And you're gonna take your honey butter mixture and pour it all over your popcorn and mix it up so it's nice and covered with that gooey, yummy mixture. And you're gonna take a cookie sheet and lay out a piece of parchment paper and pour your popcorn on top of it and spread it out evenly so that it's like one nice layer of popcorn. Place it in the oven and bake at 350 for 10 minutes, stirring every two to three minutes so it doesn't burn. And it comes out this beautiful color and it's so crunchy and yummy. Tears of the Moon drink was so easy. Start by filling your glass half full with ice. Add in two tablespoons of pina colada mixture. Just the pre-made stuff from the store will work. You've no need to go crazy and make your own. Add in a half tablespoon of grenadine. This is what turns your drink that pink color. Just a little bit goes a long way. Add in half of a can of Sprite. I use the mini cans because all you need is about eight ounces. 
mix your mixture after you add in about half your can and then continue pouring in the rest of the Sprite to top off your drink and make it so delicious and this beautiful pink color just like the Tears of the Moon from the movie. It's tropical flavored and so perfect for this movie. I couldn't have picked anything better. everybody thanks again for joining me for a fantastic movie night to Disney's Jungle Cruise make sure before you go hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my movie nights and give me a big thumbs up and check out all my other videos down below and I will see you guys next time on another one of my movie nights for mommy's movie magic